I'm at the corner of South Road, Richmond Road, and the buildings we're looking at now are going to be removed with the new north-south tunnel which is now finally going ahead and here at Richmond Road Richmond Road is actually used by all the vehicles who are coming down from the South Eastern Freeway and it suggested that we could build a tunnel from the mouth of the South Eastern Freeway at Glen Osmond to here in a straight line and the straight line then will take us through to the airport. The advantage of this is we are then enabling these large trucks, the freight sensitive things which are trying to get through to the airport, that these trucks can come straight through without any interruption. The advantage is that Adelaide is very much dependent upon the cargo bays of the large fresh passenger planes flying into Adelaide Airport. This uh, map coming from the Brisbane Times newspaper of 2012 shows Kedron with this major grade separated system to enable a T-junction to allow vehicles to move without any disruption to the houses around them. And this is the close-up of that Hedron interchange flyover flyunder which is occurring beneath the surface of the ground. So the main roads on the surface are shown in white and the tunnels are shown in green. In addition to the road tunnel, they also built a tunnel for the Northern Busway. This is the portal at Windsor. If we switch the roads off, we'll see here there is a bus station at Windsor and this joins on to the grade separated busway which runs past the Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital. This tunnel goes alongside the airport link tunnel to Kedron and at Kedron the bus comes out of its own private tunnel and there's a bus station at Kedron. Some of the buses don't use this tunnel, they're local buses and so they use the main roads and a busway alongside the main road on the surface and the express buses go through the tunnel from Windsor to Kedron. What they did in Brisbane was instead of having all the flyovers above the ground they actually went under the ground. What we've got here is a huge area of land which at the moment is being turned into a arrangement so that trucks from the southern suburbs can get into Adelaide using John Congdon Road. A better way would be to go underneath, to use the fly under similar to what's happen, happening in Brisbane with the Brisbane Airport Link Tunnel. This is Brisbane, north of the river, and this is the airport. Here is the Royal Brisbane Women's Hospital at Hurston and the rubber lines are shown, suburban rubber lines are shown on the map and what we'll do now is switch on the main roads and to get people from the southern suburbs to the airport and from the northern suburbs the airport. They built a tunnel. The airport link tunnel
and this tunnel has the unusual feature of running underneath existing buildings for most of the time. We can see here, if I turn off the roads, there's a school and normal houses and the tunnel is running underneath all these structures with no disruption to the houses. So this is the suburbs. And we should be able to get down into the tunnel. And here we're inside the tunnel. suggested that the same kind of thing could be done between Glen Osman, Mile End and Adelaide Airport. This is the city end of the South Eastern Freeway at Glen Osman, where we can see a major intersection with expansion of the width of the roads to take all the vehicles coming into this intersection. The question is how can we get the vehicles from Glen Osman to the places where they want to go? And one of the places that we want to go is to the airport and of course the other one is to the CBD of Adelaide. What's happening at the moment is a whole series of tunnels and expressways being built on the north-south road. So here at Thebedon there's a tunnel and then we have the Glanville Tunnel and one solution would be to build a tunnel from Glen Osman this is the airport so that the tunnel from Glen Osman comes to this major intersection which is being proposed here at Mile End and then we could have a tunnel which goes from this intersection into the city so trucks and vehicles wanting to go to the airport could go through trucks and vehicles that want to go north to the industrial park could use the north-south freeway development vehicles that want to go to the city can come to the intersection and go into the city and vehicles when they go south could come to the intersection and go through the tunnels. The 21st century solution to the intersection here at Glen Osman either with or without the tunnel to the airport is to use grade separation where we use underground grade separation similar to what we saw in Brisbane with the sea airport tunnel 
similarly at Thebidon we know that this area here currently is going to be leveled to enable movement of vehicles to into the city from the tunnels and new cutting of the north-south road would be to use underground systems similar as in Queensland. So the solution for grey separation is to go underground and not destroy the houses and businesses at ground level. In this view at Kedron I labelled the portals for the various tunnels. This portal here is the North Busway portal. The North Busway has got two ways to get here to Kedron. One is at Windsor there's a start of a busway tunnel and parallel to that at the surface there is a out on the surface busway with great with uh, great separation the advantage of the bus portal is it's for express buses if we look at what where is shows us a more conventional map we can see here the tunnel with the portal and that the tunnel is going underneath the road. The advantage of having grade separation of the roadway using these tunnels is it's a lot cheaper than knocking down schools and all these houses. The cost in Adelaide is costing billions of dollars to knock down the houses so that we can build things. We much less destructive to take the example of Kedron where the interchange is under the surface. A similar thing could be done at Glen Osman where the land is too valuable to do an above ground solution from the 1960s. The modern way is to use grade separation of roadways with under the surface flyovers and fly-unders.